Hi, everybody. So today we're going to be going over the temporal bone. So if we take a look real quick, this is my temporal bone right here. It's going to come up like this. You might, it might be a little hard to see, but this is going to be called my squamous suture. It's going to come all the way around like this and down around this structure right here, as well as cover this structure here, here. It's going to come all the way out to this line that you see right here. Okay, so that's going to be my temporal bone. Now, Here's the thing about the temporal bone. Like we said, we got this big part right here. Sometimes people, when they get headaches and stuff, they'll actually rub the muscle that's over this, the temporalis muscle. But if we look, you'll see there's this little hole that's right here. Now, realistically, that shows like it ends not too far into the skull. That goes further in than this. And this is known as your external auditory meatus. Now, your external auditory meatus is also known as the external auditory canal. It's also simply known as the auditory canal. If you ever put your finger in your ear, which you shouldn't do, but if you ever put your finger in your ear, this is what you're putting your finger into, okay? If we look at this structure that's right in here, this structure right here, you can actually feel this. If you go right behind your ear and down just a little bit, you can feel this structure. This is known as the mastoid process that you see right here. So that's the mastoid process. Then we have the styloid process right here, this pointy thing. The styloid process actually has several ligaments attached to it such as the stylohyoid ligament and the stylothyroid ligament, which go, the stylohyoid ligament is going to go out to the hyoid bone, which your tongue connects to, and it's going to help with things such as holding that in place. If we look right here, you can see we have this little rubbery piece right here. Now, this here is part of the um, TMJ, the temporal mandibular joint. So we have the condylar process from the mandible right here. And then we have the temporal bone right here. So this is temporal, this is mandible. That's why they call it the temporal mandibular joint because it forms a joint. It's also known as TMJ. And you might hear sometimes people get a TMJ disorder when they get clicking, when they, they chew because of problems in this joint. If I take this out, you'll see we have this rubbery part right here. This rubbery part is actually sitting in the mandibular fossa. So your mandibular fossa is going to be right here. Let me show it to you without that rubbery part. So if I were to take this one, and it, you may not be able to see the depth on this, but this whole area right in here is my mandibular fossa. Remember, whatever I have on this side, I also have on the opposite side of the skull too, because I have two mandibular or temporal bones. So that's your mandibular fossa that's right there. Okay, so now, if we put this back together real quick, okay, if we put that back together, I am going to now go forward just a little bit. And this here is known as the zygomatic arch, that arch that's right there. That's the zygomatic arch. And then we have a little line right here, a little joint that forms right there between the zygomatic arch, I mean, between the temporal bone of the zygomatic arch and the zygomatic bone. This is this little line here. So all of this is temporal bone, and then this is zygomatic bone. Okay, and this whole structure is called the zygomatic arch. Now, this bone here is known as my zygomatic bone, and that basically makes your cheek. This bone that's right here makes your cheek. Okay, and there's really nothing more to the zygomatic bone other than the fact that it makes your cheek. Okay, so to review real quick, we have the squamous suture that's going all the way around. We have the external auditory meatus, also known as the external auditory canal. We have the mastoid process. We have the styloid process. We have the temporal mandibular joint. This is the temporal portion. This is the mandibular portion. This whole thing is the joint. And then we have the temporal portion of the zygomatic arch. Now, if I go inside, we can see in here, it's actually a little bit better to see on this side. We have the temporal bone is going to be this, all right in here. All of the structure that's right in here. This here is actually going to be the greater wing. You can see there's a, a joint right there. This is the greater wing of the sphenoid. All of this in here is going to be temporal bone that's in there. So that's it for the temporal bone. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.